In your community, a Rochester-based magazine is celebrating one year of telling inspirational stories. You'll read about some everyday warriors in Be Brave magazine. The founder, Kajana Cruz, was with us last year for the magazine's launch. She's back today to tell us about the past year and what is ahead. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me here. And congratulations on one year, too. I mean, just amazing. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen these magazines, but they are full of incredible stories. They're beautiful, and, and you do it all, basically. Uh, yes, definitely. Yeah, I do it. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the one that, you know, put it out. Um, you know, I, I'm just so grateful for the opportunity to be able to showcase other people that are doing amazing things in this world that are, you know, impacting the community and just, you know, bringing light to everyone, love, and it's just amazing. <laughs> Stories that we need every day to remind us that there is oh, good yeah. in the world, right? Yes, definitely. Tell us about how the past year has gone for you. Um, the past year has been a whirlwind. <laughs> All right, so, um, you know, I've gotten a chance to meet so many amazing people, um, getting a chance to, you know, when I find out about a story or find out about someone that's doing amazing things, I have to reach out to them and, and just find out more about them. Um, the people that are in the magazine so far are people that I've, you know, known throughout life or people that I've met on social media. Um, <laughs> and, you know, all of their stories have impacted me personally. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just, I, I feel it in my spirit to just, I have to, you know, help to, you know, push them out there so that other people can experience it as well. Um, as a journalist, you know, one of the hardest parts that you know is kind of more of a craft than it is something yeah. you can learn is finding stories yeah. how do you go about finding all of the good in our community um so far it's been mostly in social social media mm -hmm. <laughs> that's been a big part um you know seeing you know different posts on facebook you know instagram twitter um you know just different you know websites and stuff and you know reaching out to them and, and contacting them um recently i have you know have some really fun things that we're doing, you know, for the future. Yeah. Um, we are, you know, expanding onto virtual reality platforms. Oh, okay. Tell so, me. <laughs> that's gonna be that's fun. So, um, you know, um, with VR, we all wear headsets, you know, mm -hmm. and we feel like we're actually there. So the way I see it is, it's you know, a, a beautiful thing to be able to create a space where people can actually walk into the magazine, experience the magazine, see what the magazine is actually about, see the pictures and everything right there on the walls, and be able to see it as if it's like a gallery an art gallery and yeah and there's also a, a headquarters space for business I'm starting to, yeah the pictures <laughs> are beautiful so you're saying picture like this yes you could be in the picture with with this woman here um, well, is that kind of how you mean? Well, I mean so that w when you walk into the space, it's almost like an art gallery that you're walking into. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, and when you're cool. there, you feel like you're actually there. Just like there's a chair right, mm -hmm. th right here. And you, yeah. You, know, you feel like you're right there on the chair. You can sit down on the chair, you know. Oh, cool. You see other people. You interact with them. These are real people. They're not just avatars, you know. So it's just interesting to be able to you know, uh, connect with people personally. Um, yeah. You have just, I mean, you've been at the, the for this is your, this is your project, this is your baby. How has it been handling the writing, the photography, the yes. editing, piecing all of this together? I mean, making a, a magazine spread is no easy feat. And yeah. look at how many you've created. <laughs> Um, it's it's been a challenge. Um, right now, I'm you know personally putting the magazine together myself. It is a self-published magazine, um, but I'm working on having a, a team put together where we're all working together, you know, to to, to push this. Um, but you know, it's it's been an experience, and you know, I'm seeing that you know I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me when it comes down to it. You know, mm -hmm. you know, God wanted me to do this. I feel in my spirit that God pushed me to do this, so He's going to give me all the means that's necessary in order to get it done. Kajana, thank you so much for being here today. For those who want to get a copy of a magazine, for those who want to learn more, do you have a website where they can order it? Do you have any kind of social media? Yes, you can go to BeBraveMagazine.com. You can also um, go to um, my Facebook page, which, which is Facebook.com slash Kajana.peace. I have a lot of information on there. Um, yeah, so thank Fantastic. You. <laughs> thank you for your time today. We yeah. really, really appreciate it. One last push for those who are maybe considering picking it up. What would you say to them? Um, I'd say to you guys, you know, you don't want to miss out on looking at, you know, the amazing stories in here. There's so much food for the soul in there that can seriously bless you. So, yeah, you just don't, you know, we are definitely looking for support, you know, 
you know, just, you know, check it out. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. Food for the soul. I love that. Something we all need right now. Thank you for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Definitely want to pick up a copy of this. It is beautiful. All that information for you going on foxrochester.com. It's 817. We're back after this.